Lake Orient's annual Dragon in the Lake Festival was created in 2009 by the Orient Art Center to celebrate its 30th anniversary. Over the next decade, it became the community's biggest celebration of the summer. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic forced the cancellation of the event, and the Art Center hosted the low-key Crafty Dragon event instead. One year later, Dragon in the Lake returned to the village, and residents once again had reason to celebrate. <laughs> Dragon on the Lake 2021 officially opened to the public on Thursday, August 26th and continued through Sunday, August 29th. The streets of downtown Lake Orion were closed to traffic as dozens of vendors lined up along Broadway and Flint streets. Visitors were able to shop for art, jewelry, clothing and more while enjoying food, refreshments and entertainment. There were plenty of activities for the little ones, including arts and crafts, inflatables, and even a magic show. Artists also got to work on their entries for the Chalk Art Challenge, which has its roots in the very first Dragon on the Lake Festival. Participants were assigned a space along Front Street to create their works of art, which could be judged and considered for cash prizes. For the first time, the Orient Art Center partnered up with 360 Event Productions to organize the event, which is the Art Center's largest fundraiser of the year. You know, we are really, really excited and thankful that every, a lot of people from the community did come out to support the Orient Art Center. And you're right, things were very different this year. Uh, obviously, we're still battling COVID um, and we took last year off, so our rhythm might be a little off. But I have to say that the people that I talked to and the events I participated in were really exciting and we had a great time. The Art Center had a presence on Broadway Street where they offered demonstrations and promoted the classes they offered throughout the year. Oh, we hope that we let people know that we're here. There is an Art Center in Lake Orion. It's amazing the people that don't know that, so that's part of what we're doing here. Um, and we definitely need some financial help. Um, but we have a great pottery studio where people can come and go 24-7 and work. It's great to be involved in the community. That's what art is all about here. We're trying to bring the community some art and art to the community. So yes, it's great to be back. Fitting right in with the festival's art theme was Johnny Martinez Jr. who sculpted this spectacular sand dragon on Flint Street over the course of several days. The sand, it always starts with good quality sand and we have it trucked in from a little quarry near my home in Birch Run. So uh, we had it brought up here in a truck, they dumped it out for us and we went to town. We just started walking on it, pushing it, shoving it, working it as with our muscles, nice big pushing and shoving uh, to get it to kind of look like a uh, dragon. The next day we come back with tools similar to this and we, uh, we take a little bit more away and it looks a little bit more like a dragon. Today I have the smaller tools that I'm working on with the detail and uh, by the end of the day it should be pretty, co pretty close to a dragon. By 8 o'clock tonight, which is in about an hour, we'll have 42 hours in between myself and another artist. So uh, it's quite a few man hours but um, a lot of it is spent gabbing and talking and <laughs> doing interviews, stuff like that. <laughs> Visitors enjoyed music and refreshments at the Tiki Bar on Anderson Street all weekend long, and live bands performed in the Dragon Pub as well. On Saturday, the always popular Square Pegs entertained the crowd with the biggest hits from the 80s. You know, I can't even tell you how good it feels. We took a little more than a year. It was more like 18 months for the Square Pegs, so to be back and to be doing what we love and, you know, to be back together is so special for us and we're so happy. You can expect a super high energy, fun 80s dance party. We got your favorite 80s hits. Pretty much run the gamut on your favorite 80s tunes and it's super high energy. Like I said, you better be dancing all night. <laughs> you think this Lake Orion community needs this right now? I think every community needs this right now. I think live music is so healing and it brings us together in a way that other things just can't. On the morning of Sunday, August 29th, teams of paddlers gathered in Greens Park on the shore of Lake Orion for the return of the Dragon Boat Races. Participation was down in 2021, but eight teams set up camp in the park with the goal of claiming the coveted Dragon Cup trophy. The Tyco drummers performed during the opening ceremony at 9.30 a.m. Then organizers Rob Cavanaugh and Matt Gibb welcomed participants and went over the rules. By 9.45, the first boats were boarded and headed out to the started line. 
In the first race of the day, it was the Bay City Rowers in lane one, Heron Springs in lane two, and Dragon Down Parkinson's in lane three. With a time of 119.67, Team DDP claimed the first victory of the day. Um, we're Dragon Down Parkinson's. We use this festival every year as a way to raise funds and awareness for the Michigan Parkinson's community. Um, we race for our nonprofit, the Maryland Jane Foundation. So all the proceeds directly benefit Michigan residents. How do you guys feel? You just won the first heat. Adrenaline. We're loving this. This is what we look forward to. And anytime we can come out on top, we're happy. In the second race of the first heat, Team Shark Attack barely edged out JS Filthy Oars by less than a second. Well, we started in 2019, and um, last year we had a team ready, but then it didn't happen. So we were watching it, and as soon as it was announced, we were like, oh, we're totally in. So we had to change over a few teammates this year because a lot of parents had to take kids to college. But we got met a lot of new friends and got a combo of ladies from Orion and Oxford on the team. And we got a new drummer this year who's amazing. And we're excited to be an all-female team. One, two, three, four, five, paddles in and power drive. One, two, three, four, five, we don't stop till we arrive. Shark attack, shark attack, shark attack. And in race three, it was the defending champs, the Bernie Directive, who destroyed the competition, defeating their opponents with a time of 115.30, more than 10 seconds faster than the other teams. Okay, so how does it feel? Uh, tiring. It's been a long uh, year and a half, but um, I mean, it's, you know, the first race is always the hardest because you have new people, some new people, some people have done it years prior and just getting back into it. I mean, we all took a year off last year, obviously, and everyone's so busy we couldn't get a practice in, so this was really kind of our practice first race. So Possibly, you think, a three-peat? Oh, I hope so. I mean, we're very competitive, so uh, we came to win. Um, I mean... We want to have fun too, but you know it's fun winning. So we're going to do our best. Um, that's all we can ask for. Uh, hopefully everyone is, uh, we're all a couple years older, so it takes a toll a little bit more. But I think we're in good shape. Um, really good competition this year for the first few races, so we'll see what happens. In the first race of the second heat, Team Huron Springs improved their time over the first attempt by seven seconds, defeating Team DDP. Well, this is our third year sponsoring it. Uh, Jeff's boat uh, was asking for a sponsorship three years ago. We were glad to hop on board and support this team. And this year is a special tribute to Anna Scripps, who uh, we lost last year, or actually the beginning of this year, to cancer. Sorry to hear that. She raced in 2019 and rode, and um, even though she was in pain, she rode anyways. And come to find out, the cancer came back, and. Um, she passed away in January, but we're attributing her life um, to be an awesome um, example of perseverance. Okay. One, two, three. Don't, Don't rock the boat. Don't, Don't tip, tip the boat over. over. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. In race two of the second heat, the Bay City Rowers also improved in their first attempt and crossed the finish line first with a time of 119.84. We're a little nervous, but we need we need to have fun again. We need to do it safe, but still have fun. And everyone it brings everyone out of their house, and we're having a good time. How did you guys manage to pull off a win? The win? Um, we just did as hard as we could, and we just did our chant. And we just want to get something positive this year, and we want to win. <laughs> All right, we'll show you our chant. <laughs> And in the third race of the second heat, the Bernie Directive showed remarkable consistency, finishing with a time of 115.34, almost identical to their first attempt. When the times were tabulated, it was announced that the Bernie Directive would attempt to defend their title against Team DDP and the Bay City Rowers in the third race of the final heat. Here's how it played out. And Bernie Directive is sound as always, a bit out of cadence, but man, they are strong. Yeah, and it uh, unofficially appears that they, they have commanded a lead, but nothing is over until it's over. It is not over until it's over. That truer words have never been spoken, but I got to tell you what, it yeah. sure looks like it's really over. 
Yeah, and unofficial. And it looks results. like looks like Bernie directed. It looks like we could have another never. another notch in the championship belt for the Bernie directive. Wow. Strength. Oh yeah, feeling the burn once again. Congratulations to the Bernie Directive who won their third Dragon Boat race in a row and their fourth win in five attempts. It's a great win. Uh, it's, I'm sad that I didn't, there's not more boats, but you know what? Um, I get it. There's a lot of things going on in the world, but uh, congratulations to everybody that participated today, uh, especially my team and everyone that takes a lot of time to do this. A full day of dedication, uh, but it's for a great cause. Love our community. Um, and this is just one more cool thing that we have in our community, but. Hey, I'm happy to take the trophy home. It stays in Lake Orion, um, so we'll, we'll treat Edwin with uh, respect and honor. Dragon in the Lake 2021 came to a close on Sunday with an award ceremony at the Dragon Pub. There, the Orion Art Center named the winners of the Talk Art Challenge. Awards were also handed out to the best drummer of the Dragon Boat Races, as well as best costume, which went to the Bay City Rowers, and most team spirit, which went to Team Shark Attack. The bronze medal went to Team Dragon Down Parkinson's for finishing in third place. The silver medal went to the Bay City Rowers for second place and claiming the gold and the coveted Dragon Cup trophy was the Bernie Directive. It is the Stanley Cup of Dragon Boat Racing. Take good care of that, baby. Now let's hand out some gold. Chris so Barnett, great Aaron to be Spirit, back in Greens Park, all these we Dragon Boat teams, because it's really not about who wins or who loses, it's about being a part of this community, and that's what really fills us right all with here. all this pride, Next and we all year. feel so good. So I thought it was Thank a you. fabulous event, it was great for the Art Center, and now they can continue to do all the great things that they do for the community, so it makes it all worth it. Our motto was persevere, persevere and uh, really just keep the tradition alive, keep it going, we know people are uh, treating the, the pandemic differently, and uh, you know we are just glad and blessed that we had uh, eight teams out here today paddling, giving it their best, and so much kudos to the, the paddlers that came out today. We're looking for next year to be even bigger and better. It's really inspired us to already start planning for next year. But here's a great thing. So we had built the festival and the Dragon Boat races up to well over 20 teams and 20 boats, and this park was packed elbow to elbow. And you watch next year, we'll be back there. It's uh, We're going to double the size of it next year. People now will say, well, wait a minute. We remember how awesome it is and what it does and what, how great it is for the community. We'll be through this pandemic. And next year, you'll be 20 plus boats. And yep. Rob and I will be really running there. Yep. Yeah. And this trophy here next year, come on out. Put together a group of your buddies, your friends, your, for your cause. And you can take home this beautiful trophy. Come on out. Dragon on the Lake 2022 next year. Bigger and better. And with that, the 2021 Dragon on the Lake Festival came to an end. Although it was hot, with temperatures pushing 90 degrees during the weekend, it looked like everyone involved had a great time. As we said earlier, Dragon on the Lake is the Orion's Art Center's largest fundraiser of the year. If you have any questions or would like information on the Art Center's classes and exhibits, you can call 248-693-4986 or visit orionartcenter.org.